Let's make a semi procedure landscape like this in five minutes. A semi procedure in case we wanted to change the river, I can just make adjustments to this curve, tab into edit mesh of the plane for the river to update and you can see it has updated. So I got inspiration from this project here. It's a minion commercial and uh, there are a lot of stuff here that I think we could explore, especially if you are into motion graphics. So if you want to choose our next project, links are in the description to check out the projects and you can select which one we can look at. Next, because I knew I wanted a semi procedure, I started with a plane, scaled it up, subdivided it a few times and added a mount resolution modifier to have more subdivisions. Then I created a path. This is going to be our river and I'm going to use dynamic paint to create a displacement map for our river using mesh proximity. Select the landscape and go to the physics tab, dynamic paint, canvas, add canvas, format is vertex, surface, weight. Output, just click on plus so that we have a new vertex group added. Now we can add a displacement map that uses the new vertex group we have created. Create a cube, stretch it on the X, add a few subdivisions, give it a curve modifier and select the curve. Now we have that. With that mesh selected, go to the fix, physics tab, dynamic paint, type brush, add brush. Mesh volume plus proximity is going to be our source. Now, if I hide this, you can see we're already seeing some displacement. Shade smooth if you want. Now we can go back to this and uh, just pull this strength down. I can go back to the brush, go to dynamic paint. If I play with the distance, you can see we get a more smoother transition. Give this a display type wire so that I can see through this, push this down. What we have created is a weight map and if we go to weight paint you can see what we have created here and uh, we can adjust that by just controlling the curve and the river will update as well. Next step is to add some displacement to the mesh itself. So I'm going to add another displacement map. I can use clouds, change the size. I'm, I'm just going to use an MT to control the scale of the noise of the displacement. So from local to object and just select the MT and that should be used as something like that. With that we can create a bunch of grass to add on to this which is just a, a simple plane with a few subdivisions and a shrink wrap modifier. The surface is going to be our target and now I can add a hair system like that. Use the principal hair shader keeping everything simple. Added a sky. Now the hair what I did is I just brought the length a bit down to make sure that I can fill up a lot of space without using a lot of hair. In the hair shape I increased the, the diameter of the hair. Used less hair. Used children set to simple to create different clusters. The diameter root I set it 2.2 and the T 2.1 and uh, the diameter scale 2.1 as well and you see we get some good grass like that. Then I just duplicated these around but you see that uh, in some areas it starts to cross the river. What I did is add a boolean modifier and just selected this object as the cutter. Make sure that the boolean is above the particle system and now where the river ends we don't get any grass. And, uh, you also have to go back to the particle system and make sure that uh, in the source you have use modifier stack turned on and again this is still semi procedure that uh, I can adjust the river and uh, we can see changes like that. I used the same technique for the trees but instead I used a tree form botanic. Links are in the description if you want to get botanic. Instead of rendering path we are rendering object and setting that tree as the object and uh, again instancing it on a plane with a particle system so that we can move that around and you can see how that is updating there. The river is just a plane with a water shader that has the same curve modifier as everything else. It can also be updated very easily. The mountains are just a plane with a lot of subdivisions and a displacement modifier set to image and uh, I just have a height map of a mountain like this and uh, you can see I have a simple mountain without doing too much and uh, the more subdivisions you have like that. Now the rest is just a material which I set up with a, a grass texture like this, passed it through a color mix node and uh, I created a mask out of the normal using the texture coordinates to get all the faces that uh, look up to have snow. So I create a mask like that and then I mix it with other grass and uh, that gives me a snow kept mountain and that was it. Thank you. So if you want to create more advanced terrains or landscapes, try out a true terrain which is a blender add-on uh, that is great at doing stuff like uh, what I've shown you in a few clicks. Uh, it just gives you everything that you need, all types of terrain from mountains, comes with trees and everything uh, that you can think of. Links are going to be in the description and also don't forget Botanical uh, which is a library of trees and vegetation. All links are going to be in the description. You can download the project files on Gumroad, Patreon and my YouTube membership page and if you want to watch the entire process of making this project as a time lapse it's going to be available on my second channel. Thank you.